Today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking about the top five ways that you can make a mistake with customer service. It is one of our viewer sent in ideas, so if you have a business, any type of service business, make sure to stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's going on everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com and you are here. What's up? Hey, thanks for hanging out. If it's your first time, take a look around. It's a podcast we do every single week. There is 150 plus weeks straight of the podcast. So go back, watch everything. And most importantly, if you want to give me a virtual high five, uh, a thank you, or just want to be a nice guy, I am a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. My number directs 862-312-2026. Just go to windowcleaner.com. Search any products you want, throw them in a cart, make sure you're logged in, and uh, shoot me a text, call me, whatever, and be like, yo, Jersey, put my order in. And you instantly become one of the cool kids and one of the nation, and it is how I make my money. So thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Again, 862-312-2026. A couple shout-outs this week from some people who are awesome. Uh, Chris, Frin- Chris Finch. <sighs> He wants to uh, say I can go and buy some brand name birth control. So thank you. Thank you to you. Uh, Derek Holloway with uh, his great ideas. Thanks, man. Uh, Mike Nichols, what's up? And Brock Manning just saying hello to you. Um, If you also have an idea for a podcast, I would love you to send it in because we're going to be doing a bunch of customer podcasts um, or people's ideas for podcasts. It's sometimes tricky to come up with new content ideas and it uh, really makes a big difference. I just got about 30 of them uh, from different people. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to give me uh, ideas, certainly send them over. But this week's idea comes from Chris Simmons. Thank you, uh, Chris. Uh, he said uh, he wants to know about the top five customer service mistakes. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So if you have a company or not, the biggest thing that we could possibly do is customer service. Um the biggest problem sometimes people have is what to do and they see, you know, maybe movies or TVs or they think they know what customer service is when they're really not thinking about who their customer is. They're just thinking about customers in general. And it's a really, really kind of uh, interesting concept, but you're not your customer. You're not. I know I'm not. I am not the person I would be selling to. I'm not going to have my windows professionally cleaned. I'm not going to have my windows, my uh, house, my roof, my everything done. That's just not me. I would do it myself. um, And I just don't care all that much like some of the people do. So the big problem is, is that sometimes people think um, that they are their target market, that they're their customer. So when they focus everything on um, what they're going to do, how they're going to sell it, uh, their ads, their promotions, their direct mail, everything they think about what they like. And that's the big problem because you're not who you're trying to target. Uh, There's a concept and it is the uh, uh, John Doe concept. In our case, Jane Doe, we'll say. And what that is, is the concept that all of us have a virtual perfect client. So you take that you go, okay, who's my client? How old are they? Are they man or woman? Kids or none? What kind of pets do they have? What size house do they live in? What neighborhood do they live in? How much do they make a year? What do they do on the weekends? What are their hobbies? Do they have, you know, nice lawns? Not nice lawns. You have to find your Jane Doe. I'll give you an example. So our typical Jane Doe would be somebody that is anywhere from 38 years old up to 60 eight years old. Uh, That's the normal range or the uh, most of the people that we have their range. They're female. They have kids, but the kids are old in college or out of the house. They also have pets. Uh, They usually have a dog and a cat and they uh, like to have nice lawns. If they do the lawn care themselves or not, they're usually very nice lawns. Uh, They are Usually in the upper echelon price, uh, money-wise, make about 100000 individually a year, somewhere around there. Uh, I think it's like seventy-six to 100000 individually. And um, 
Uh, they've lived in the area all their life. That's our typical person. It goes more into that, you know, in depth as far as hobbies and things and all that. But that's who we're looking for. Now, I'm not a 60, uh, what, 68 year old woman. I'm not a 60 year old woman. I'm not any of that. So I'm not my target market. I'm not my target customer. So you have to figure that out. And selling to that person is super important. That's how you know if your sales are going to be good, if your promos are good, if your mailers are good, if your anything is good, is if you're targeting that particular person. Sorry. Um, so knowing that, it, all of this can, pertains to that. Don't sell to yourself. Don't think about yourself. Think about somebody else. But the number five way that you can make a, a, a customer service mistake is focusing on how to clean a window or how clean the window is. This is a big one, especially with new guys and girls that are in the industry. Their big thing is they focus so much on their window. Ah, oh, there's these little little specks or the little this or how do you do this or I I you know I spend you know ten minutes on a sill to d you're going a little bit too above and beyond. Now I'm not telling you to do crappy work because everybody knows what crappy work is. But I'm telling you, it's our job to look at the window and it's their job to look through the window. There's a big difference there. Now, in our world, going to something that is uh, darn close to perfect is important. But focusing on that as the only reason, it's just not there. The reason is, is that clean windows are universal. Clean windows are why somebody called you in the first place. It's not, you know, because you're going to be a good listener or it's not because of any other reason. They already called you with the assumption or the pre presumption that you're going to have uh, amazing skills at window cleaning and the windows will be clean, right? If you were looking at um, all of the plumbers out there, your underlying assumption is that they all know how to plumb. They all can do the plumbing. There's a lot of other things. I like dealing with a XYZ because they're so nice. Uh, the guy was very, very cool. Uh, you know, he explained everything to me, uh, whatever. You know, that's kind of where it is. Um, that's why you look, but nobody assumes, well, I call XYZ plumbers because they plumb so much better, right? They don't. It's the same thing with window cleaning. They don't assume any one of you cleans a better window than the other one. So focusing on that, even advertising with that, is just not, not super awesome. And the customer service side of this comes in is that when everything you talk about or do is focused on the window and how clean it will be and, and your solution and your process and your uh, we fan and no one cares. No one cares but us. If you want that awesomeness, go on and uh, start a YouTube channel uh, or go into one of the Facebook forum, Facebook or forum groups and uh, post videos. Those are the people who would be like, oh, nice technique. More than likely you'll get bashed because that's Facebook. It's just trolls galore, keyboard cowboys. But that's what that's for. Don't sell this assumption. It's already there. You cannot convince somebody you do a better job than the other person right? There's so much more that goes into it. And the people who do focus on the um, uh, cleanness of a window or where they are, they're the ones that are actually taking more time doing the same job and the customer's not even noticing anyway. So now they're taking two times as long, which means you make half the money. It just isn't good for business. It just isn't good for anything. It's not selling anything. It's not helping the situation. So don't focus on how clean the window is. That is not a customer service side of things. Uh, the number four way that you can uh, do a customer service mistake is offering too many services. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, this is what we offer. We have window cleaning. We have roof cleaning. We have uh, pressure washing, which is uh, sidings and concrete and that kind of thing. And we have gutter cleaning. Uh, we also, depending on how bored I am, do uh, screen cleaning or screen uh, repair. I hate screen repair. 
But uh, those are the services we do. Now, I don't go out there and I don't paint. I don't pick up dog poop. I don't, um, I'm not a plumber, electrician. I'm none of that, right? We keep our wheelhouse nice and tight and we focus on those. And the reason is, is have you ever hired a handyman? A handyman. The, probably the main part of it is you haven't. And the reason is handyman or handymen, whatever, you know, their, their title, are jack of all trades. That usually translates more to um, people who just know they need somebody to do something and they don't care. They're on a budget. They're on, you know, they're doing all this. They just don't care how great it is. They just need somebody that kind of knows how they do because they can't do it themselves. Usually you see that in way older people who are like, I just need them to change light bulbs and, you know, uh, there's a faucet that drips. I need that chain. You don't necessarily care how awesome somebody is or how amazing they are if they're changing a light bulb. No offense to you professional light bulb changers out there, uh, but there's not really a high demand for specific people. Now, <clears throat> if you went in and you said, hey, I have cancer and I need it to be removed from a surgeon. Uh, I found a surgeon who also does chiropractic uh, things. They also are a dentist. And uh, they do shoe repair on the side. Well, nobody would do that. Nobody would go to that person, right? The reason is, and the same reason you don't go to a general practitioner doctor for a surgery on cancer, or spine, or brain surgery, is because you go, well, they don't do a good job doing that. They don't know everything about it because they don't do that all day long. That's why you go to a specialist. That's why if you have to get brain surgery... You go to a brain surgeon, a person who lives, breathes, and learns everything about brain surgery. And the reason is because you know that person is going to know their stuff. So if you offer too many services, too far out of that wheelhouse, the problem is, is that your assumption instantly is you don't know quite what you're doing. Uh, they'll do a decent job. But the other side of it is that they automatically assume that you are going to need to be cheaper. I just hired this guy. He does a bunch of stuff. You know, he's the he's the same guy who uh, you know painted Doris' house. He's gonna come clean my windows. Uh, you you instantly assume that guy's got to be cheap. So when you come at them with the real price, they're like, oh, that's that's too high. Uh, you know, because they don't care the results. They don't care the company. They don't care about any of that. They just think it's gonna be a price thing. And that's where you shoot yourself in the foot if you do too many things. Now, we used to do fleet cleaning, which is washing semis. Uh, we had the whole setup. It was one of the initial things we got into pressure washing for. And we realized really quick that we would never advertise fleet cleaning to any of the regular customers. We would never even advertise fleet cleaning to a lot of the commercial customers. Because not everybody's got a tr trucking fleet. So it's far out of our wheelhouse. We dropped that service in fleet cleaning because it was too far away from our core. The stronger your core can be, the more focus you can be on it. If I sell somebody on window cleaning, I can also sell them on a house wash. They're not going to assume I, I, I'm bad at either of them because they're so close. If I do a house wash, it's them doing the windows right after. I can't do the windows until I get the house wash done, right? They play off of each other. So getting those services in specific like that really, really helps. Also, it makes you assume or them assume that you are the uh, professional. You're a professional person at the services because that's what you do and that's what you know. Go back to the brain surgeon thing. You know that guy's going to be awesome because that's what he does, right? Has anybody ever gone into brain surgery and be like, oh, I'll need to know what those prices are first. Well, I'm going to shop around a little bit. No. People travel all across the country. Because one company, or I should say, to translate, one brain surgeon is the best. I'm going over to California to get my surgery. This guy's the best. Oh, how much does he charge? I don't know and I don't care. Right? When you go to a specialist, you don't care about the price. Because you're getting that person. You're getting their knowledge. There's another saying that says, if uh, I can do your job in 10 minutes, it's because of the 10 years of experience I have. You're paying me 
for the 10 years of experience, not the 10 minutes of work. That's a great concept. That's kind of where that is. Focusing down allows you to go farther. Think about a laser over a floodlight. You turn on a flashlight and you're out in a football field, you don't see it on the other side. You turn on a laser, you can hit an airplane with it if you want to get arrested. (laughs) You know, so focus those things. Don't do too many things. That is the number four reason that uh, you could be making a customer service mistake. Uh, Number three, and this is mine, and I beat this like a dead horse but it's being professional. Not being professional is the mistake. People are like, well, what are you talking about? Okay, now hear me out. Hear me out. If you have a dumpster on wheels, your truck is disgusting. I'm not talking about like, hey, I'm just starting up, you know. Like, If you just choose to have a dirty car or a dirty truck, that's a choice. That's not, I'm just starting up. Because it doesn't cost you anything to be clean in your car. You know, what does a shirt cost? If you get them embroidered, they're like six bucks a piece. I mean, uh, screen printed, they're six bucks a piece, right? You can get that type of thing getting in. Now, if you're brand new, I get it. I get it. You know, money is different when you're brand new. But the big thing is, is that you have to be clean. You have to be presentable and you have to be professional. Being, not being professional will shoot yourself in the foot. Again, we go back to price. If some guy shows up, and he just looks like a dirtbag, gross. You're like, oh, God, this guy's cleaning my windows? Oh, well, yeah, but he's hundred. He's $99 to do my inside and outside, plus he's pressure washing. and he's de- Instantly, you can justify a crappy contractor because of the low price. Don't shoot yourself in the foot by being that guy or driving your dumpster or looking horrible because then they assume that you're, they're not going to get you the price that you want. These are also potentially the guys go, uh, I make 20 bucks an hour. That's the highest my customers will pay. You're wrong. You're a thousand percent wrong. Your customers will pay the right price. I'm telling you. Your minimum can be 65 an hour. That's your minimum in any market in the entire country. Any market in the entire country. If you think it's not, it's because you're too scared to get to that point. If you think it's not and people say no, it's because they've seen you do things before and you haven't sold them and the why. You haven't been the brain surgeon that they want to go to. You've been this guy they assume is unprofessional. Now, the other simple things about this in your vehicle is just keeping it clean, keeping it washed, looking, you know, getting your hair. My hair is messed up today. I'm sorry. I didn't run a comb through it. I just did it with my hand. This is unprofessional. I'm sorry. I wouldn't hire me. But for you, make sure your hair is done. Make sure this is, I know that I preach this stuff all the time and people are like, you're telling me how to live my life. No, just think about it. Our job is to clean things. We clean siding, we clean roofs, we clean windows, we clean gutters, we clean. That's what we do. We take dirt off things and make it clean. If you don't look clean, if you don't look like you clean other things, they assume you're not going to be good at cleaning theirs. And it goes right back down to the price. Some of us like McDonald's cheeseburgers, right? I haven't had McDonald's in years personally. So I am kind of the one that we'd be talking about here, but a McDonald's cheeseburger is a dollar. You don't get that because it's the best cheeseburger in the world. Maybe you do. Tell me in the comments down below if if you love McDonald's that much, if you're on YouTube, but most people don't do that. Most people get it. It's a buck. I'm just a cheap, fast, quick. There it is. There, there. McDonald's are everywhere. Just boom. Nobody goes there and they're like, oh, I just got it. Oh, man, I just love it. I eat them every day because I love their dollar cheeseburger. As I remember, they weren't that bad. But nobody gets them for that. They get them for the price. It's the same thing in window cleaning or any service. They're going to hire you because of the price. They're not going to care about what they're getting. And that's not what we want. I would 100% rather work smarter, not harder. And I would rather make 65 an hour doing it right than have even twice as much work at 30 an hour. We're not Walmart. An hour of your life is what you're changing for the money. An hour of your life, is it worth it? Make it worth it. We're not Walmart where we have like, oh, I, try to, I try to sell more than, than the other guy. No, 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 no. It's still an hour. An hour of time takes an hour of time, regardless if you're making 30 or 60 or 100. It's still an hour of time. You can't sell more to make the same amount of money. You're working twice as much. See how that works? 
We're not selling something, we're selling time. Time is fixed. Anyway, that was super, super deep for no need to be deep. But not being professional, it's a huge problem. Be professional, go buy some shirts, logo and letter your truck or vehicle if you can. Just keep it clean. If you wanna start there, keep it clean. It's super easy to do, is to just keep it clean and just look presentable, I'm telling you. The number two way that you can have a customer service mistake is not being relevant. Now this could be tied for first. And I'm telling you, customers want you to be relevant. They wanna use you, they want you to keep helping them because we're a luxury service, right? When you are done with a job, people are like, oh, it looks awesome, thank you. Nobody's like, yeah, well, thanks again, right? They want you to be relevant because if you're relevant, they'll use you. If you're relevant, they remember to use you. If you're so relevant, they use you now twice a year instead of once a year, they're twice as happy with you. I'm telling you, they want you to be relevant because they'll use you. If you fall off the map, they have to then find out who did the service last time. I'm telling you, I don't keep receipts from services. I just don't. So the last guy who did my plumbing, I don't know. I'm going to look up and be like, I can't remember if I remember him. And more than likely, I'm not remembering the guy that was here because I couldn't remember who it was now. If they have to do that, then they have to also have the windows be so dirty that they now need windows. A lot of people don't remember that. So it's our job to remind them. That's what being relevant is. I get in this conversation with people quite a bit, actually, on um, being relative and overselling and I don't want to be pushy. You're not being pushy in a luxury business. You're not going there like, hey, what can I do to get you in the... No. Oh, hey, we're putting together our spring list and I didn't see you on, Miss Jones. Uh, when did you want to get on? Oh my gosh, thank you for calling me. I, I, I would have forgotten. Or I didn't... The worst thing that happens is, like, oh, you know what? We're going to do it just in fall. No problem. Let me know if there's anything we can do before that. And remember these other services we do if any of that stuff comes up. Right? That's it. You're calling somebody twice a year. That's every six months. What happened to you six months ago? That lasted one minute. You can't remember. This is not bothering people. But you're also sending emails. You get emails all the time. If you don't want the email, you unsubscribe. If you want it but don't want to read it, you just delete it. Easy. You send postcards. You do door hangers. You just get yourself out there so people can remember and see you. Getting in contact or being relevant allows them to remember who you are. If you just say, thank you very much, next time you need us, let us know. That's it. They go, oh great, all the windows are so, they're not going to think about you. As soon as you walk out of the house, they do not remember you. Now, that's not for everybody because I'm telling you, I have people who are die hard, just like uh, customers of mine now for Window Cleaning Resource. Some of you are so stinking awesome, they're like, Dude, I will buy everything from you. Every order goes through you. Every order, doesn't matter. Even if I talk to somebody else, I'm still ordering through you, right? You guys are awesome. That that right there is loyalty and a lot of them are not loyal. It just happens to be that some people forget. It is why we do the content we do here. It's why I ask you every single week, please let me put your orders in. I have to stay relevant. If I don't stay relevant, everything slips because people forget about you. You are not as memorable as you think. You're just not. Think about the people you've seen just yesterday. Think about everybody you saw yesterday. You can't. You had full conversations with people that you cannot remember. You just can't. People are not as memorable memorable as you think. And you're not as memorable as you think. So you have to stay relevant. Staying relevant allows people to be able to use you. It keeps them happy. And it makes you money. So please, please, please be relevant. You have so much information at your fingertips with... Uh, names, emails, phone numbers, uh, addresses, all that stuff is information. Those are people who have used you before, meaning they, they own a property that they want to clean, they like to get pay for services, and they've gotten your service before. They already trust you because they've used you. Huge, huge. Anyway, that's the number two way. But the number one way this week to uh, the number one customer service mistake, if you will, is trying to be the lowest priced. I'm telling you. We always talk about this. And the other reason for that is because if you're the lowest and that's all you sell on, that's the type of person you get, 
And that's the type of service you are. Any one of you, write me the, the nasty message. I, I, I totally understand. Vent away. Any one of you who says, I cannot charge 65 an hour, we'll say. That's our really bare minimum on anything. It's usually 65 per man hour. Per man hour. Uh, pressure washing is higher. Roof cleaning is way higher, right? But even on window cleaning. I can't charge that in my area. It's because you haven't tried or you didn't give it a chance. You should be closing 80 to 85% of your bids, somewhere in that area. If you're closing all of them, or when you don't get one, you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't get that. You're doing it wrong. Now, in the beginning, people are usually lower than they should be. And the reason is, is not because they're building a foundation that's set to crumble. It's because they're making zero dollars. They assume cheaper wins. During this coronavirus, there's a lot of guys out there who are like, I'm doing a big sale, 50% off. What? Why would you do that? Well, it's going to drum up business. No, it's not. It is not going to drum up business. If somebody is, is, is not getting windows done because they're scared of, of the future, what the future holds in the economy or where their money's coming from, it, they don't care that now you're 50% off. They're still scared. That's the same concept. Is playing on price always gets people to buy only based on price. Now, if you're building an empire, you're building a strong company, do not be the lowest price. Everybody claims they're not the lowest price, right? But here's the thing. I will always put prices on ads, always. That stops some tire kickers. It lets people know, and I hate it. Somebody's selling a vehicle. I'm in the market for a UTV right now, right? If I see an ad, I'm like, oh, that's really nice. There's no price in it. I will not call you for price. You can just go eat uh, blank because I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to go call you to find the price. No. If you're so inconsiderate, you're not telling me the price, I'm not calling you. So here's the thing. With the price, I will do this. On ad or EDDM, which is direct mail, uh, that type of thing, I'm going to put a price for 20 windows, 199 20 windows, 249 Whatever that price is that we're charging at that particular time, 299 whatever it is. 20 windows, that ins and outs, 20 windows, outs only, this price, right? That's what I'll always put because it gives people an idea because a lot of people don't know what window cleaning is. They've never had window cleaning, so they don't know the price. So telling them kind of that works. Some people have 10 windows. Most people have more than 20 windows. Some people are going to be upsold on a bunch of services, right? Do not be the lowest price. Do not play on the price and do not use price as your main factor because people still want that luxury service without having to do a sale. I'm going to I get yelled at for this, but I'm going to I'm going to compare it to a car. A Lamborghini dealer never a Lam, has, there has never been a Lamborghini, Ferrari, any of those high-end things that have a super uh, discount month. Lamborghini and Ferrari have never had a President's Day sale. They have never, ever had Toyota month or <laughs> whatever. Lamborghini and Ferrari have never had a sign and drive event. Never. Because the people who buy a luxury item are buying that luxury item. They're not buying it because it's cheaper on sale. And if you're putting your services cheaper on sale, and yes, I do some discounts sometimes, but they're small, just like, uh, you know, here's a $20 card, that kind of thing. Uh, by the way, plastic gift cards, watch a bunch of the other episodes, something like that I'll do. But if you're doing these ridiculous sales of, you know, uh, windows for, you know, 50 bucks or something like that to try to get people in, you're doing it wrong. It's still taking you an hour of your time is an hour of your time right? People buy luxury services for that service. If you're the best window cleaner around, you've done everybody, you're everywhere, they know you, every, they just know that name and that logo, it's all recognized because you're everywhere, you're the guy they're going to call. I want luxury service, clean my windows. They're not going to be like, well, let me, and yes, there are some people who will always price search, price search. you don't want them anyway because the next time somebody's $5 less than you, they're going to leave you anyway. I'm building an empire here. I'm not building a, a beer money 
thing, you know? So don't be the lowest price. If you haven't raised your prices, now's the time to raise your prices, I'm telling you. This guy's always trying to, he's trying to, I'm telling you. Raise your prices. Even if it's 10%. Even if you add $1 a window, $2, $5 a window. Just do that. Do that one time to get up to par. You will never be able to go back to where you were. You'll always then have new people coming in at better prices. It's the same thing when people uh, are one-man shows. They're not looking for new customers. They're as full as they can be. Any new customer that calls, they jack that price even higher because now they know some people will die or they'll move or they'll just stop using them. The new people are coming in at a higher tier. It's called strengthening your company. Do not focus on prices. Either way, that's this week's episode. Thank you to Chris Simmons for sending me a um, suggestion for the show. Uh, I got more suggestions coming in, uh, but if you want to give me suggestions, shoot them to me on text 862-312-2026 or email them to me, jersey at windowcleaner.com. I love the suggestions, guys. Love them. Keep them coming. Uh, More importantly, if I could be of service and put an order in for you, my number is 862-312-2026. Thank you guys to everybody who lets me put that in. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, Please, I want you to be one of my customers too. 862-312-2026. If I haven't said that enough, call me, text me, throw it all in your cart. It doesn't cost you any extra. Just be like, yo, put my order in. I just click the go button instead of you. It's super, super easy. But I do want to be a rep. So if you have questions, call me. If you have water fed questions, call me. If you have squeegee questions, call me. If you have pricing questions how do i price a job call me that's what i want to do is be your rep and most importantly if you um want a five percent discount all you have to do is put your order in through me and this week's code for the discount is cheeseburger because mcdonald's cheeseburger maybe you like it cheeseburger is the code all you need to do is text me that let me know on the um email or call and i'll get you five percent off but more importantly thanks for watching guys and until next time Go out there and be epic.